They call themselves musicians. A band of Russian mercenaries from the Wagner Group paid to fight where the Kremlin needs them. Their founder and conductor were Yevgeny Prigozhin and Dmitry Utkin, both killed in a Russian plane crash this week. Prigozhin had fallen out with Putin after his men led a mutiny in June. Mercenaries are banned under Russian law, but Russian President Vladimir Putin admitted to paying billions of dollars to the Wagner Group. I want to note, and I want us all to know about this too. The maintenance of the entire Wagner Group was fully provided by the state. From the budget of the Ministry of Defense, from the state's budget, we fully funded this group. Whoever was responsible for Prigozhin's death, the Kremlin is moving to take full control of his global empire. Set up 10 years ago to help Russian forces in Ukraine, the Wagner Group has expanded to almost every continent, from Venezuela to Syria and Africa. An estimated 5,000 Wagner mercenaries are in Africa, fighting armed groups for a monthly fee along with access to minerals and natural resources. Experts believe revenues from logging alone to be close to a billion dollars. Russian mercenaries control the Endesima gold mine in the Central African Republic worth 2.7 billion dollars. From Bangui, Wagner runs a beer and vodka making company called Africa Telor. And there are troll farms for hire that have fueled anti-French sentiment online in former French colonies in Africa and meddling in elections in the United States. The Wagner Group produces films portraying Russians as benevolent heroes. This was the last video of Prigozhin, supposedly filmed in northern Mali one day before his death. He says, Wagner is here to make Russia even greater and Africa even more free. Prigozhin sucks up a lot of attention, but I also think what Wagner does, this PMC, is bigger than just one person. It's bigger than Prigozhin or any one or two executives. And I think, um, yeah, I, I suspect we will see someone come in uh, to take his spot, perhaps someone less flashy, less controversial, um, more aligned and more loyal to Putin. The Wagner Group is a symphony of companies, with the musicians playing a key role the Kremlin cannot do without. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.